Mike had only been on the job for a week, but the night shift at the abandoned hospital was already getting to him. The creaking floors and the flickering lights seemed almost cliched, but they were very real. On this night, however, it felt different. The air was heavy, thick with an uneasy silence. He was making his rounds when he noticed a figure at the end of the hallway. It was a man, but something was wrong. His movements were jerky, unnatural. Mike called out, Hey, you can't be here. But the figure didn't respond. Instead, it turned slowly, revealing a gaunt face with hollow eyes, devoid of any life. Panic surged through Mike as he backed away, his flashlight trembling in his grip. He radioed for security, but only static responded. The figure started moving towards him, its gait a disturbing mix of stumbling and lurching. Mike turned and ran, his footsteps echoing loudly. He reached the security office and slammed the door shut, locking it behind him. Through the small window, he saw the figure approaching, closer now. It pressed its face against the glass, those empty eyes staring straight at him. Then, without warning, the figure grinned, revealing rows of jagged, decayed teeth. Mike's heart pounded as he realized the horrifying truth. The figure was not alone. Dozens of similar faces emerged from the shadows, all converging on the office. Trapped, Mike's screams were swallowed by the darkness.